there. I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty, and this is very strange, but I'm not in my camera room. I'm out in my kitchen, and it feels pretty good to be here, I have to admit. This is where I started my videos on YouTube three years ago, long before I had a camera room, and it is really nice to be here with you. And you know, this is kind of like my girlfriend chair. I have one more chair over there that is on the other side of the fireplace, and whenever I have a girlfriend over, she sits here, I sit there, and we just chat and have coffee. I would say wine, but I don't drink anymore. But sometimes they have wine. I just have my, actually, usually I have this, which is my European sparkling water that I get from Costco with a wine in it. Absolutely love that. But you know, it feels fitting that I'm out here in my girlfriend area with you because I feel so excited about having gotten this beautiful new bag. This is a Teddy Blake bag and it is from Teddy Blake of New York. It is 100% leather, it is made in Italy, and you know, until very recently, I did not know about high-end bags. I couldn't have really told you if something was a good bag or a bad bag, but man, this is super, super quality. I started getting interested in good handbags about, maybe about five years ago, when my husband took me to Italy for our 30th anniversary. And as part of that, we did a lot of shopping and there was a brand in Italy called Furla. And to me, this bag reminds me of those Furla bags. And even my husband, who does not really care about handbags one way or the other, he always loved those Furla bags. This bag is made in Italy, just like the Furlas. And actually the story about this brand is they have their purses designed by a special designer. And as you can tell, they are sleek and classy and gorgeous. I absolutely love the gold hardware on this one and just the ladylike nature. And this is a pebbled leather finish. I don't know if you can see that. It has a zipper in the back to keep your cell phone there. But the thing about Teddy Blake is they bring you super high-end Italian-made leather bags for a bargain price, really. And even five years ago, when I went to Italy and learned about Furla and learned about higher-end bags, I still did not know by the feel and when you get them, I would not have recognized a high-end bag. But recently, I have been in kind of a bag, a little bit of a bag frenzy, I have to admit. I bought some Louis Vuitton bags maybe about two years ago, and I have three of those, and I'll show you my little bag collection. But basically, I started wearing the same Louis Vuitton bag all the time, and it was a typical brown Louis Vuitton thing that they do. And I always kind of didn't like it because I thought, well, like with this, that brown Louis Vuitton, I would wear it with something like this. And number one, it felt very obvious that I was being this brand when I would wear that purse. And also it didn't really match anything. And I didn't have a lot of brown in my wardrobe at that time. So recently I've realized that instead of going for the obvious brand on the outside, I'd rather have something super classy, but that is a great color that kind of matches your shoes. And these are my shoes that I have on and they match this bag. And in fact, I'll show you a look at this outfit with this bag. There it is, there is me just a few minutes ago in the living room with this beautiful bag and my little outfit of the day, I guess. Although it is Saturday, so I'm not really very dressed up today at all. Okay, I will show you this purse and then I will show you how I have cleaned up my purse act because up until maybe around Christmas, I couldn't have used a purse this small. And this is an Ava 14 inch. It's the biggest Ava they make, but this would not have been a big enough bag for me because I carried everything but the kitchen sink and my bags and they were always a mess. My mother had a messy bag growing up. Actually growing up, my whole house was a mess. And as you can tell by when you've seen my videos, my house is very clean on the outside for sure because I grew up in kind of a mess. And uh, basically I, I learned to get the outside of my home totally clean and a lot on the inside, but my purse was still a mess until maybe around January 1 of this year. And then I cleaned up my act and I'm going to show you how I did it. And now I'm super organized and what's in my purse, I did not edit it, but you're going to see it exactly as it was for the past week. I've been carrying this bag at work. And so you will see everything I carry in my bag. And I'm so proud of myself because I've gotten organized. And now when I look in my purse, not only is it beautiful on the outside, it's beautiful and organized on the inside too. Okay, let me go ahead and show you a little more about this bag. And you just unhook it like that. Love the gold hardware, really beautiful. And oh, I wish you could smell this, but it smells so good. And it is a suede interior. 
and it has one little compartment in the middle of it, and that's what you need to use a purse organizer. And a purse organizer is really what is kind of changing my life, and I'm not kidding, because it makes me feel so good to be disorganized. But here, let me show you. This is what you see when you look down on my purse. I've got a wallet there, a little tiny wallet there, a makeup bag, and then I have a little purse organizer, which I will show you. Now, this bag comes with a big strap, a big long strap, but I don't have that in here. I just keep it in a purse area in my closet. But I do have the requisite two masks here because we are coming off of 2020. So masks are a big deal. But basically, let me go ahead and show you what I have in here. I'm gonna show you every detail of my purse. Okay, first on this side, I have three of these little wallets and I just put them on the outside of the organizer because the organizer is really very small and it is so great because I always used to carry one purse day in, day out. I didn't even hardly use an evening bag. I would carry the same purse for like two years until it fell apart and then I would get rid of it. Well, recently I am switching out my purses with my outfits the night before and I love it. These are my three little extras, a wallet, a makeup bag, and a small wallet. And I'll show you what's in those in just a few moments, but I do wanna show you the purse organizer because it is fabulous. It's got two little handles on it, and that makes it really nice because you can pick it up by the handles. See, it just comes out of the purse right there. There it is. And then it's just a tiny, tiny little thing here. I think it's maybe about eight inches across. It's very small, it's one of the smaller ones. Oh, and before I get into showing you this, let me show you a picture of this Ava bag on several different women. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? That is from the Teddy Blake website. And they say the Ava is modern, sleek, and chic. And I certainly do feel like this Ava bag is modern, sleek, and chic. And don't we all want to be modern, sleek, and chic? Anyway, even if you're not in the market for a bag, I put a link below to the bag trends of 2021. And you might check that out because it does give you some great ideas in terms of bags. Okay, let's get into this little wonder here. And this is made by, who is it made by? Vercord. And it's a little tiny, tiny little purse organizer. And the thing I love is you can switch it out to carry many different purses, many colors. You know, you can match your purse to your outfit of the day, which is just wonderful. So here we go. And I guess I'll start by showing you what is in the middle pocket. And I keep the same things in each pocket every single day. So there is a look at the middle pocket. And I have a hand lotion here, the Cold Plasma Therapy Hand Lotion, and I'll link everything below. That's a very good one. Then I have a little sanitizer, little hand sanitizer. Again, in 2020, 2021, you've got to have that. Then I have a little cologne, and this is the Joe Malone Wild Bluebell. And I absolutely love this, little purse size there. And then this, I really love this. This is a lipstick charger. So it is for your cell phone. And basically I watch a lot of videos and sometimes at the end of the day, I need a charge or you know my battery is getting low. So you just unhook it like that and then you stick it in your cell phone. And I am filming on my cell phone, so I can't do that. But you just stick it in there on the bottom of your cell phone and immediately the little lightning bolt goes on and you have instant power. This is called a lipstick charger because that's the size. I totally recommend that and I'll link that below too. Okay, now, now this is something my husband gave me for Christmas. I drive a Porsche SUV and my husband loves Porsches. He's in the Porsche club. You know, sometimes when you hear things like that about a person, you think, oh, they're just into status. But my husband is not into status, but he just likes fine quality things. He worked for like 20 years, the first 20 years of our marriage, doing part-time TV jobs. He was in production, that's how we met years ago. And so he worked doing these part-time jobs and saved money, he's a great saver. And he bought his first Porsche. It was a used Porsche, but very nice car. But anyway, so now I have a Porsche SUV. He gave me this little leather key holder because he thought being tan, I would not lose it in my purse. And he's exactly right, I do like this. And let's see the next two things in the middle. I actually only have three other things in the middle. This is one thing, and I love this. This is my Kenra Volume 25 hairspray. And this is my favorite hairspray of all time. I'll probably never switch from that. Then I have a little brush. 
and it's just a little foldable brush that you can kind of use it to buff out your hair a little bit. Give yourself a little more body. And I like the fact that it fits in the purse is the main thing. Whoops, thought I was gonna break it there, I didn't. Okay, now, and this is a blush brush because I don't have one of those in my makeup bag, but isn't that cute? That's from Ulta and it's really a good blush brush. No blush on it, but ooh, that feels so good. And it just feels good to know you've got a good blush brush available. So that is the end of everything that is in the middle there. And I will say, you can see the white down there. In the reviews, they mentioned that this gets a little bit loppy, a little bit limp. And so people were saying that they put a little cardboard strip in the bottom. So I just took some of the packaging and cut a little rectangle and stuck it down in the bottom. And then also, this little purse organizer has two zippered areas. And I don't put anything in those because I don't wanna take the time to unzip things. But I did the same with the cardboard there. I put a little piece of cardboard in there and in the other side, so it is totally like rigid and nice. I love this thing. It's kind of like changed my life in an odd way. It makes me feel good about myself that I look in my purse and I see organization. Okay, I don't know how I'm in a weird mood today, sorry. Okay, um, so then I have four little compartments, one here, one here, and each compartment has a separate one here. and. It's the same on the other side there. So in this first compartment, I'll show you what's in there. And basically it is a pin, no particular brand, just a pin. And then I have a, whoops, I'm dropping things. Then I have a little panty liner in case I need that. Then I have this little tape measure and you'd be surprised how much I use this. I love this thing. And I ordered it on Amazon, but it's just like this. You can use it for anything. It seems like I use it a lot when I'm out for housewares and things. It just seems like every now and then you do need a tape measure. And then the last two things in this area are a little card case. And this is a Louis Vuitton, but it doesn't really matter. You can use anything. And then it has my little business cards in here. And I do own the company, but it says Beth Snyder Marketing Director because I wear a lot of hats at the company. In fact, it's two companies actually. Well, let's not get into that. But anyway, that's a business card holder. And then I have this little purse holder, which I really do like this, and I cannot remember for the life of me what it is called. You can get it in silver or gold or rose gold, but basically it's a little purse holder to where if you want to hang your purse up, say in a restroom, you don't wanna get your purse in that muck down there, you can just hang up your purse in the restroom there or on your desk or if you're having a drink out in a bar, which we never do anymore because we're always at home sheltering. But anyway, that's a very handy little thing every now and then. And that reminded me to tell you one more thing. Look at these little feet. That is a sign of quality there because that protects your purse against the elements. So that's really a nice little quality detail there. So now let's go to the little second area here. And this area I consider basically to be eye stuff and mouth stuff, eyes and mouth. Okay, like right here, these are little lens wipes, and there they are, and I'll link them below, and they're not anything special. I just get them at Walmart, but that's helpful if you use your cell phone camera and you wanna wipe it off or just to keep your cell phone clean. I like that. And then here is a little thing of Refresh Eye Drops, which when my eyes get dry, I do wear contacts, that does help. And then I also have just a little spare contact lens case in there, just in case I need to take out a contact or something like that. And then I have one of my favorite things ever. This is the Smart Mouth Dry Mouth Dual Action Mints. And these suckers work. I mean, they really do. That Smart Mouth mouthwash, if you have breath problems, you won't have it if you use that Smart Mouth. And I have to eat one of these. Man, they taste so good. They're very minty. Yummy, that's really good. And then also in here, I have a bunch of these little things and they are clean. These are little tooth flossers that I sometimes use after lunch. So that is in the second area there. Now, let's turn the purse around. Wait, I should chew this up. Ooh, that's really good. You're supposed to suck on them though. It's probably not gonna really help my breath, is it? Oh well, yum. Okay, so now we're on this side and I'll just go over here. And this is kind of my greasy area, I consider that. And the first thing is these little Bosha blotting linens. 
And I got this idea off of Tracy Hensel's channel, great channel, but these are wonderful and I'll show you how they work. You just take one, maybe about noon when you would like to powder, but you just sort of put it on your face to blot off the oil. You're probably not gonna be able to see that it worked. Sorry. That's one problem about being out in the kitchen. I'm not very close up. But anyway, I'm an oily skin person. I think that's one reason at 62, my skin is still pretty good. But the oil just came off there really, really nice. And the second thing in that little slot is my favorite powder ever. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airless Flawless Finish Powder. And I think it's just beautiful. It, I'll use a little bit of it, even though I just did body. It just takes the shine away, but it looks very natural. I have never found another pressed powder that I like as well as this one. I guess I'll stick that back in the area there. Okay, in the last little slot here, I have some makeup. And this is a Smashbox Contour Bronze and Highlighter. I really used it just because it kind of fits in there. And I also have the little brush that comes with it. And I used this one for the light shade. And here's a little Real Techniques Contour Brush that you can just use to dip in the contour there. I love to add a little brightness under my eyes. Whoa, did that ever do that? That was a little too bright. Maybe I should look in the mirror. And I don't find that it emphasizes fine lines and wrinkles, but I think it looks really good. Just when you need a little pick-me-up to make your eyes look a little brighter. I guess I'll stick those back in there like that. I gotta put everything back in. It's really bothering me because now that I've gotten organized, I really like to try to stay organized. And as you can see, all the little four slots went back just as they were. And that's the secret to making a purse organizer work is that number one, it has to be small. And number two, you just have to keep putting the things back where they belong. That's the only trick and that way you'll stay totally organized. Okay, let me go ahead and show you what's in these three things. And here they are. And this is a kind of a little throwaway because I had this in my purse accessories box in my closet. It's an old, old coach, little leather good, little tiny zipper pouch. You could find this kind of thing anywhere, but I'm sure it's not current. And in here, I just have these types of items. I have an emery board. I have some other um, dental flossers there. And then I have something else for my teeth or my breath anyway that I love. These are Equate breath strips. I just love those. I've got them actually here and in my makeup bag because I do use those a lot. It's kind of fun after lunch to have a little good tasting thing in your mouth. And then I've got some diarrhea medicine. I, I really have controlled my IBS super, super well. Every now and then though, I do have an issue. And so I like to have these with me just in case. And then I also have in here a little eyebrow tweezer because it never fails. You think you look good and then you get out in your car in the bright sunlight and you look and you've got like a witch hair sticking out there. And so it's so nice to be able to grab that. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else in here. No, I think that's pretty much it. But this just has little kind of essentials. It's nice to have a nail file because every now and then you do need that. Okay, the next thing I'll show you is my wallet and it's a Louis Vuitton wallet. And you know, it's kind of nice, instead of wearing very obvious designer things on the outside, like instead of using the Louis Vuitton purse that I used to use, it's kind of nice to have just your nice leather goods inside and just, you know, cause it makes you feel good. They're high end, they're quality, but you're not like going, wow, 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 look at me, I miss designer. Okay, and my wallet, I have just the requisite things. I have my debit card, my driver's license. Hey, and I gotta show you something about my driver's license. I was kind of surprised by this, but I just had to renew my driver's license after four years. And I think I look better on my driver's license now. I'm telling you girls, I think good skincare is helpful. This is my driver's license picture from four years ago. And this is my new one. You know, driver's license pictures are driver's license pictures. They're not gonna look that great. But I was kind of impressed by that. Cause usually I get them and I go, ooh, this is terrible. And this one was not so bad. Okay, and then I have my library card. I have my car insurance card. Then I have quite a few little Starbucks gift cards. I love Starbucks gift cards because I can go out and get my coffee. Although I don't tend to love Starbucks actually. I prefer Panera because I get the plain coffee that's black. And I don't think Starbucks black coffee is very good at all, but I have a lot of the gift cards. I have a little Jose Peppers gift card because I sometimes take the kids out to Jose Peppers. 
I have a check, just a folded check, because now that I have a smaller purse, I don't really have the room for a full-size checkbook. In fact, I'm going tomorrow at four to see Moon, who's my manicure person, and I love Moon. In fact, recently she left Tips and Toes, and I've been going to her for like five or seven years, and I called to make an appointment with my Moon, and they said she was no longer with the company. <sighs> and I was totally freaked out, but then I realized that I had her cell phone number, so I went to Tips and Toes and got one more set, and then I got Moon through text, and I'm back with Moon, which makes me happy. But anyway, they only accept checks, not debit card. So that's what that is for. And then on this side, I have some other assorted gift cards, more, more Starbucks gift cards for some reason. Um, and then I have my insurance card, my debit card, my Costco card, and my Sam's card. Although lately, I have not been going into Costco. I've been letting Instacart bring the Costco stuff to my door, which is nice. And then I have a grand total of like $19 in here. I know it's $19 because I'm a member of the Panera Coffee Club and I get free coffee for three months. And I'll link that below because that's a really good deal. I won't go into all the details, but I felt kind of guilty because every morning I was getting free coffee and I never tipped her. And so I said, Alan, all I have is a 20 in my purse. And, and so he gave me some change so that I can tip her now when I get my free coffee. And I will say that's about the max of cash that I ever carry, so don't rob me because I use a debit card. You wouldn't get anything if you robbed me. Okay, so that's that. And now here's my little makeup bag. And this is a Louis Vuitton makeup bag. However, I can't tell you which one it is because I think it actually had a chain on it and it was a little tiny purse. I have a little area in my closet, which is purse accessories. It's a little plastic bin. And I've got several Louis Vuitton makeup bags and I don't really think this was even a makeup bag, but it fits now in my smaller purses. So I'm using it as a makeup bag. Probably is, but I don't know if you can find this one. Anyway, there is all the makeup that I have in there. And I don't know how long this is getting. Well, I have a mess around me now. Let me clean everything up real quick because that's my rule on my purse to keep it clean. So I'll do that and I'll come back. You guys, one more thing before I uh, get done with this video. There was one thing I didn't show you and I don't know what the heck it is. And it has been in this makeup bag for a long, long time. Does anybody know what this is? If you have an idea or a guess on what this is, if you could put it in the comment section below the video, that would be great. I almost threw it away, but then I thought it's so well made that I think it's something important. So let me know if you know what that is. So I'll take my little Teddy Blake bag. Love this thing. I mean, I truly do. I am amazed at how much one can love a purse. I would like to have it in other colors too, actually. Okay, here we go. And there's a link below the video to a Teddy Blake sale. And that is one thing about Teddy Blake, which I really enjoy, is that they always have fabulous sales going on. And if by some chance there's no sale, there's also a link to a discount code. So go check it out. And I will say, when I was choosing this lovely purse, I could not make up my mind. And I drove Mia, Mia Simmons is my rep at Teddy Blake. Um, she's been very nice and she's been very patient with me because I would always find one that I loved and then I would send her an email and I would copy and paste exactly what it was I wanted. And then I would keep looking on the website and I'd read some more reviews and then I changed my mind and I did that like four times. And she thinks I'm a lunatic and the reason I kept changing is because these things are just so beautiful and so quality. I wanted to make sure that I got one that I would really get a lot of use out of. And one of the things that I really like about this, and I chose it specifically for that reason, is that it is a very neutral color. And I am trying to get out of so much black in my life. And if you're interested, I would be glad to share a video with you. I just had my colors done. And I also had this thing done where they have a book called Signia Style or something like that, but they had me take all kinds of measurements of my body and pictures of my face. And in this book, they tell me exactly what styles I should wear, like what neckline. Apparently I have a rectangular face, which come to think about it, I really do. I mean, this is like, this is like a rectangle <laughs> and I really do need bangs. And it did say that, but I don't know that I'm gonna get that done. But it explains why everybody in the world can wear a long V-neck and they love them and they look good in them. But with me, I've never liked them. I like things like this. And that book has told me why. That book has told me that because I have such a long square face, a long face, if I have a long V-neck here, 
it just makes everything look longer. I look like a horse girl and I don't want to look like a horse girl. So this kind of blocks it off and helps my face look a little more normal, a little closer to oval, which is supposedly what we all want to get to. If you're interested in learning more about my color analysis visit and also my Signia Style book, I would be glad to do videos about that for you. And if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things anti-aging and buying quality products that really do kind of make us happy. I mean, they say that things don't make you happy, but for some reason, this new purse has made me pretty happy. So anyway, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And I've been trying lately to share information that I'm learning rather than just going from those cards every time and taking the chance that I will get a card that's good and that I understand when I pick out those cards. I thought I would just start sharing information that I am learning on my journey during the second half, because I truly do believe that in the second half, girls, we got to get this right. We got to start slowing down and enjoying our life because it's passing. You know, I'm not middle-aged anymore unless I live to be 120, I'm 62, 124. So I'm past middle age. I am past the halfway point. And we've got to make every day count. We've got to enjoy those people around us that we love. We've got to do things that we love. We've got to love ourselves. That's one of the most important things I'm learning. So let me just give you one of the little tips I've learned. And that is that all through life, we always want to feel like a success. You know, we've always got goals and dreams. All of us do. Uh, things that we want to accomplish that will help us feel like we're a success. And the key word there is help us feel like a success. Really, all of those things that we have on our to-do list and our goals list and, you know, the places that we want to get to in life, the things we want to get, the things we want to accomplish, whatever. We need to stop thinking that success is only reaching that particular thing. We need to start realizing that when we're going for all these things, we're just going for that feeling. We just want to feel successful in our lives. And so I learned this recently and it was from an Audible book and I cannot remember the name of it because I listen to so many positive thinking books and so many self-help books. But basically what it said is, don't wait till you get to that goal to feel like a success. Feel like a success right now. Enjoy your success right now. When you're grateful about where you are in life right now, when you feel like a success right now and really enjoy those great feelings, then more of those wonderful things come into your life. It's kind of like a bank or an investment, I guess. When you invest your feelings of love, gratitude, self-acceptance, and success, the universe says, hey, Beth feels pretty good. I think I'll bring her more of the same. Take care, and I'll see you in my next video.